Hello and welcome to Logic Classes, a society of learners. In this video, we will discuss how to prepare for the English section of HSC. We'll have a deep analysis of the English section. Uh, we will discuss the tips, tricks and techniques. And at last, uh, what are the important books for the preparation of this section. Stay tuned with the Logic Classes because we are coming up with the more interview with the toppers of HSC 2021. A separate video on the trend analysis of HSC how to prepare the arithmetic reasoning section of the HSC, how to prepare for the general studies and essay section of this uh, HSC. All these in the separate video with deep analysis. So don't forget to subscribe to your logic classes. So now let's deeply analyze the English section of HSC. The English section is really most predictable one if approached in a correct and systematic method. It is also deadly one if you haven't have enough practice. English amounts to 25% of the part 1 in terms of marks and it's generally used to test the candidates vocabulary, grammar and comprehension skills. First thing first, comprehension passage. So you will be asked to read a passage or a poem and answer the question accordingly. And difficulty level like really varies from year to year. Sometimes it's really easy, sometimes it's really hard. For the passage, try not to spend too much time. Now this comes with a lot of practice and that once again means Mocks, mocks, mocks. And to help you out with this mocks part, Logic Classes has launched India's most affordable and high quality mock test series for HSC. You can buy our mock test series just for Rs 1499 and after using the code EC20, the price will reduce more. You can buy our mock test series just for Rs 1200, that is 1200 rupees. So don't forget to use the code EC20 and you can buy our mock test series just by clicking on the link in description. Coming back to analysis part, you have to practice a lot. Like after doing mocks, you, you will figure out a strategy for yourself. The most common problem is that while reading it, you might lose a thread of it and you will go back and start over maybe from a couple of sentences back and even from the whole damn thing. So you have to keep in mind that you are not losing the thread or you will kill a lot of time. Try to get a general understanding of the passage and this will make it more easier to choose the correct answer as well as to avoid any tricky part. You do not have to mug up the whole passage as to start answering an idea of what lies where and would do. This can be approached like uh, read through the passage really fast while trying hard not to lose the thread of what you are reading. Fast reading will give you more attention and you will retain a lot of what you are read from the first time. Another approach is to read the question first and then hit the passage and then come back to the question. That helps too might uh, like it will take some time but it's really a good approach. So what are the ways that can help you in this comprehension part? Reading newspaper articles or editorial daily from the uh, Hindi newspaper. This will help you speed the whole process up. I know it's kind of hard but it's really helpful for you if you want to crack the HSC. You have to make a habit. And don't forget to go through the literary devices and figure of speech. They are mostly asked under the comprehension and will help you gain more marks while taking less time. You can just google them out or you can learn them from YouTube. Next is grammar. This is generally the easiest part of the English section. The question asked are most often basic and at 10th level grade. Tenses, active passive voice, article etc. So these are like you are already familiar with these part. So this is not going to mess up with the English section. And if you want to learn about them, just YouTube them. YouTube is really a really good platform to learn about them. If you talk about practicing the grammar part from a book, most students suggest going with the Ren and Martin and you can go with any other book too. Just basically the fundamental thing is you have to practice a lot. You can practice from Ren and Martin or any other book too. I would advise you not to spend most part on grammar because if you are familiar with the basics of grammar and you can solve the previous year question paper just you are good to go you just you you, you can spend this time on other sections and if exam date is closed don't forget to go through the idioms and phrases part sometimes questions are asked directly from it and it will also help you in the essay writing part so we will when we will have a video on essay section i will remind you back again and just uh, simply google them or like any website will be helpful to learn these idioms and phrases. So the final thing is vocabulary. Questions that test your vocabulary will be like spread out throughout the English section. 
uh, you can also accept some uh, expect some question in the comprehension part as uh, synonym and antonyms vocabulary part cannot be built overnight but you can always build on your basics like as we say rome was not built in one day if i suggest you the most basic way to learn vocabulary is when you have a conversation with anyone in english you use certain words you use certain basic words so just google them learn synonyms of those words and use in your daily conversation if you are preparing for the boards also you are giving boards so while writing answers you can use those synonyms of those words there are also many apps which will help you to get get familiar with the new words get familiar with the uh, like special words used in the hindu editorial on daily basis so just google them just go just get them from the google play store and and if i suggest any special app that is merriam webster it's a dictionary app it has a it's a it's kind of video game where you can practice while playing a game and also in this merriam webster dictionary app it's generally include many words that are already asked in exams like in upsc and all so it's kind of a so it's really a good recommendation as for vocabulary part for the vocabulary part i would highly recommend you all to go with the book word power made easy by norman lewis it's really interesting book it will take time but it's really worth it do all the lessons from it and you will see change in yourself change in your vocabulary at last i would like to repeat all these books name number 1 is word power made easy by norman lewis for the vocabulary part and renan martir or s c gupta for the grammar part and if you want to practice the comprehension i highly recommend you to go with the mocks right and um, the merriam webster for the vocabulary you can it is available on the play store and app store if you are interested in our mock test series you can buy our mock test series by clicking on the link in the description and you can connect with us on various social media handles every single link in description